Right guys, just back with another little quick video of uh, this Hot Toys G.I. Joe Snake Eyes. I've got quite a few figures I've got to catch up on, so um, hopefully I'll be able to bash quite a few out next couple of, next, uh, couple of weeks come in. So yeah, this is Snake Eyes, this is the box. Um, just your basic what Hot Toys seem to be doing lately, just your slip cover. Pretty boring. I don't even bother looking at these boxes anymore to be honest. Just cut the tab and slide the tray out. They're getting quite um, boring and bland, these Hot Toys boxes, but... It's only the box really, so... Uh, just show you quickly what he comes with first. Uh, you get quite a few hands with him. Sorry about blocking the light out. You get a couple of uh, sort of open palm ones with him. The gloves are done real good as well. They're um, obviously they're meant to be like a leather glove, but they've got like this little like metal sort of like studs all over the knuckles and down the fingers. Pretty nice. And then you get a couple um, sort of open but not quite as far open. And then you get two triggers, one for each side, two fully closed fists, and two open for holding his swords. And then he gets a little uh, submachine gun. He's got a little torch on the side. A little uh, see through sight. The forwards handle does um, come down, and the stock is extendable. Doesn't come with a um, strap or anything, but I I have got a spare um, a retention strap, so I might just put that on, so it so that so you can have it like dangling down his back, some side sort of thing. Uh, then the rest of what you get is on him. He also gets two uh, katanas, so I'll show you them in a bit more detail later. You get one little knife in the sheath there. You get another little knife in the sheath up his back. Knives are both the same. And then you get his pistol. Just your basic hot toys, Glock, what they've done hundreds of times in the little holster there. So look at his swords. This one's got a black blade. Sort of uh, orangey I think it's sort of orange. Can't really tell what sort of colour it is. It's like a sort of dark beigey orangey colour. But they're uh, they're both metal. The handles are metal as well. Which is quite nice. Got his little um, clan symbol at the top of the blade there. And then you get this one, which is all metal again. It's the silver. There's a little clan symbol on the blade there. 
and then the black handle. It's all metal again, the handle's metal as well. So they are nice, the swords. And then we'll move on to the snake himself. Let's get this down a second. Move this out the way a bit. So the head sculpt, obviously, it's not a head sculpt, it's a full mask. It's obviously, uh, that's what Snake Eyes has. Because of his um, accident that he had, so he doesn't like showing his face, which you can't blame him. I've got the visor and no knife, which is a good thing in my opinion. But uh, nicely done. The only thing I would say about it is it does feel a bit. It's very light and hollow. And it does feel a bit. I wouldn't say cheap, but it just feels a bit. Um, I don't know, it's hard to say. It just feels a bit light. And a bit flimsy, but. Uh, then you get the rest of his body armour, this all hard plastic over his chest. And then you can go down, there's just the material starts from here. You've got a couple of straps and his buckles. And then you've got this sort of like, supposed to look like leather I think. I think it's a sort of soft plastic. And then you've got his little shoulder pads, the armour, all down his arm, over his biceps and his forearm, the gauntlets. Same on both arms. So this one's just got his uh, clan symbol again on his shoulder. And then he's just got the basic sort of black military um, sort of cargo pants type of thing. The pockets have got some sort of stuffing in them to fill them out a bit. And then he goes back, this piece, what holds the sheath and the two little pouches and the knife sheath. Uh, sort of clips on under there, there's two little clips one there and one there, you just push them in and sort of clip it on but it does come on in in the box but mine had, uh, the clips had come out so I had to clip it back in and there he's got his two little pouches a lot of velcro shut, there's nothing in them but you could put something in there if you wanted to, I suppose. Now I see a sheath for his uh, blade, his katana blade, and there's the little sheath for his knife. Got like zips from the back of his knee all the way down to his uh, ankle. And then he's just got big black. Uh, Moulded boot. They're not very high boots, they only go up to the ankle, so you get quite good articulation in the ankle. The articulation in it is pretty good as well. The, it's a bit tight around the hips, but that's just down to the material being tight. Um, and it's a bit restricted, obviously, with these. But apart from that, all the rest of it is pretty good. Yeah, he's a nice figure. He's going to look beautiful when uh, 
Storm Shadow arrives. Oh, there's also like a leather like sort of thing around his neck. Oh, he's got there what looks like it's zipped up, but the zip is covered. So I'm not sure if he'd be able to unzip it or not. But yeah, it's done really nice. And tailoring on it, the cut and sew is um like Hot Toys has been lately really good. The only one problem there is with him um, is the the pegs are very loose. I'm not sure if um, let's find out. I'm not sure if the peg is a bit small than a bit smaller than normal pegs, or I'm not sure if the whole, the the body, the hole is a tiny bit big, um, because I think it is a standard, like a, just one of your standard true types, but it is a black body, and obviously black pegs. So I'm not sure uh, which is which is the wrong size, but they are, they're not like they're obviously not going to fall out, but they are. Um, very easy to pull in a night. I'll show you. No, that one's not doing it now. <laughs> this one is a bit worse. Let's see. They will just pull in a night. Very easy. Show you this sword a bit better while I get it off. They are really nice swords. This one's a bit pointier, like a guitar now. And the black one's a bit more um, sort of the, the squared off end, like a sort of ninja type uh, blade. If you can see it's sort of more squared off. So yeah, I'd say uh, if you like the character Snake Eyes, pick him up. Not necessarily as a representation of the film because the film um, wasn't up to much, but um, I'm just taking him as Snake Eyes really, not as part of the G.I. Joe film. And uh, I think he's the best Snake Eyes Sideshow I've done a couple of nice ones, but um, I think this one the quality is just a bit more. And uh, he's not one of your more expensive uh, figures either. You can pick him up like $170, around about there, if you look around. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, if you've got any uh, questions or anything, just pop them in the comments below and I'll get back to you ASAP. So I'll um, catch you next time, bye.